Hello, this is Jam Master Daniel 96 and in today's video, I'll be reviewing Star Wars Clone Wars Adventures Volume 2. And let's begin. Well, Clone Wars Adventures Volume 2 is the second volume of the little kind of Clone Wars Adventure comics, which, you know, are in the 2003 Clone Wars' art style. And this one has an Anakin and Obi-Wan story, a Luminar and Beresafi story, and a Mace Windu story. And it's really cool how they open this. Like, it opens with, like, the scene in A New Hope, where... Obi-Wan is telling Luke, you know, about his father and all that, which I thought was a pretty cool way to open it. And then we go to present day with um, Anakin and Obi-Wan, and then they're flying their Jedi Starfighters during a battle on the planet Terra Sul, if you pronounce that right. And then during the battle, Obi-Wan lands on a platform and then fights the droids. Anakin see it's the other platforms, like, because there's more than one. Then what, Anakin lands on one of the platforms, then he jumps around and does all these tricks to fight all these vulture droids and all that, which he does some pretty cool acrobatic stuff, and then he uses the Force to push the other platforms, and then after that, Obi-Wan congratulates Anakin, and then there's a pretty cool thing that we see a vision of Anakin, where Anakin sees a vision of Darth Vader, which I thought was pretty cool as well. And then the next story is the Luminar and Beresafi story. They fight off these droids. Then there's a part where Luminar and Beresafi split up, and then kind of, you know, Luminar loses contact with Beresafi. Then, you know, Lum Luminar doesn't know what happened to her. Then... Luminar and her clone squad elite their attack, and then Grievous is orchestrating this attack on the planet they're on. Then Barris and her squad use explosives to take down the droids, and then when they do, like we see a big like avalanche of rocks come down, and then they figure out that Barris was leading that bit where they take down those droids. And then that's where Luminar finds out Barris is alive. And then the third and final story is a Mace Windu story. It's pretty much he's on his gunship. They get shot down. Then, the, then it lands in a forest. Then Mace Windu wakes up. Then he sees these monkey-like creatures. Then Mace Windu wanders around the forest. Then he fights off a few droids. Yoda's voice guides him. Then Mace Windu fights off this like machine. Then we cut to a scene with Count Dooku. The person that talks to Count Dooku talks about a planet killer. Dooku questions him. Then the alien-like creature doesn't understand. Then Dooku asks him to be taken away. And then we cut back to Mace Windu, where we see Yoda guiding Mace. And then that's pretty much what happens in this book. And I thought it was a, a fun read. Like, you know, it was like a fun read, like, these are some fun reads, and not, you know, I'd say they don't, like, you know, impact, like, major events, they're, like, these fun little comics, you know, like, as I reviewed the other one, they're just, like, these fun comics that are in the 2003 Clone Wars art style, as I said, and that's pretty much all I gotta say in this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment what you think down below, and I'll catch you guys next time with another video, bye!